our administration is committed to finding the best ideas that offer real solutions. And I'm excited to see innovation in action when it comes to solving the problems of congestion here on I-270. Another critical I-270 project that we will be addressing is the Watkins Mill Road Interchange. Our administration is investing nearly $130 million for improvements to reduce congestion at the I-270 Maryland 124 interchange and the Maryland 355 Maryland 124 intersection, providing access to the Metropolitan Grove Mark train station and access to jobs all throughout the region. This project will be advertised in February and will be closely aligned with the I-270 corridor project. Additionally, we'll be investing another more than $28 million here in Montgomery County to repair the Maryland 193, Maryland 195, and Maryland 355 bridges. We're committing another $101 million uh, toward repaving a number of roads all across the county. We're investing more than $41 million in uh, BRAC intersection improvements and more than $120 million uh, for projects along uh, Maryland 97, the Brookville Bypass and the Maryland 97 Randolph Road project. Our administration remains committed to the future improvement of Maryland transportation and of course that also includes public transit as well. Today I'm happy to announce that we will be, be providing an additional $1 million for shuttle bus service that will transport riders between metro stations uh, to help ease the problems created by the WMATA shutdowns. This will help ensure that citizens here in Montgomery County will be able to get to work and get about their daily lives in an efficient manner while metro repairs are taking place. We're also excited to be investing nearly $160 million to move forward on the Purple Line, which will have a transformative effect on Montgomery County and Prince George's counties. Uh, we've received a full funding agreement from the federal government so that the Purple Line construction can get underway by the end of this year. All of these are critical infrastructure investments uh, that will help citizens in Montgomery County and all across our state go about their lives in a faster, more efficient, and safer manner. And they're just one more way that we are changing Maryland for the better. Thank you.